hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we'll discuss an important use case in model driven app showing in-app notification sometimes we have a requirement that when user interacts with some forms or some uh, some data then we need to notify something to the user to do something okay so this kind of notification this is called as in-app notification okay you can use this notification in-app notification using power automate using javascript using dot net right so you can do that so how we can uh, send this type of in-app notification using javascript we will see that okay my requirement is when this form is opened any form when any form of doctor appointment opens i want to show a notification let's say this is your appointment uh, record and when I, I i open this i want to display notification in app notification to display some message so how can i do that so let us first focus on the feature that you have to enable you see the notification that is showing here when i upload when i loaded this form right so first of all you have to edit the uh, model driven app to enable the feature so in the i am in the edit mode and i can go to the settings and search a feature called as in app notification you have to enable this in app notification and save it i have already enabled and saved it next you have to create a javascript library that will use the set app notification send app notification request so this is the javascript where we have created a namespace called as in-app notification wrapper and using this namespace we are using app notification request where we are assigning the parameters that need to be passed and the prototype of this request notification request which requests title recipient and body all the prototypes what is the uh, type of the title what is the recipient type okay and all this information you need to pass so i have already created a blog i will uh, tell you the blog about uh, about the blog where the code is available now this is a javascript library or web resource you have to create and upload in your solution so i have created a web resource and uploaded here this is the base script that has been uploaded this is the script that is uploaded in my script now next to call this script this function I have created another javascript where i am calling this function from my page load so this function here i have written a code that to get the current login user id using xlm utility utility get global context user setting user id then replacing curly braces to clean up the guid and creating i am creating a variable of send app notification request which is nothing but an instance of the old library existing library in app notification wrapper dot send application send app notification request you see this is the function so this function or this class instance i am creating here and passing the parameters what should be the title of the notification recipient and the recipient slash system users and dynamically passing the current login user then the body what message you want to display here what is the priority okay whether it is normal priority or high priority what is the icon type whether it is information error or uh, warning okay and there are many types of icon types you can see in my blog there are many post types right then you are calling xlm web api online execute and execute this send app notifications request in power automate you can call this using unbound action in dataverse now you save it and upload the script so when you upload the script we can test it so let me edit this new script i have uploaded or updated so this is the script i have updated in app notification script this is the second script library the first script library is base script which is a reusable code if you change anything you have to publish the javascript so you need only two javascript files one is to store the uh, base class references for notification wrapper which which will never be changed and next is the library which will call that base class to display the notification 
Now this notification it will display on the page load. So once it is uploaded and published, I can go on a doctor appointment information, doctor appointment uh, form and open this form. Try to refresh once the screen because script is updated. And we're expecting that when the form is loaded, because I'm calling this script on page load, you see here. In here, I'm associating the uh, base script then I'm associating the child script, which is calling the script above. And on the page load, on load event, I'm calling this handler. On load, in-app notification script and send version notification. This is the function I have written. Now, let me open this. If I open this form, I'm expecting a notification on the top. You see guys, this is the notification I'm getting. Now this is the notification if you see here, this is the appointment alert and this notification is displaying here, right? So thank you everyone watching this video. You can uh, go to my blog and copy the sample code that I have created for this.